Hello, welcome. Welcome, guys. How are you? Can you guys hear oh, good me? Good evening. Hi, good evening. Can you guys hear me? Yes, I can hear you now. Okay, good, good, good. I wasn't sure if you guys could hear me or not. Uh, okay, well, welcome. How are you guys? I'm very well. How was your Memorial Day? Um, slow? Very, very, very <laughs> slow, yes. Very, nice. Yeah, it was, it was nice. Um, okay. you know, I mean, yeah, I, I, I was able to do other things. Um, exactly. Yeah, um, I mean, because uh, I could catch up with certain things I had, I had, um, you know, while I was waiting for a call to come in. Actually, I didn't have very many calls. Um, ah. I only, I think I only had like, um, like six or seven. During all, all the day? Not the whole day. <gasps> Amazing. <Ooh. laughs> so that Amazing. was very nice. That was very, very nice. Um, so I was able to, um, uh, to just simply, simply um, you know, just relax a little bit. Actually, it was really, really funny because um, uh, turns out that I, um, I, I, I uh, picked up a call of this uh, man that was um, that was going to be discharged from the, the hospital, and oh. then um, so they they talked, you know, and then and then at my last call was the same man oh but, so it was the same it was the same patient mm -hmm. um it was the same patient that was um that was uh you know they they were giving him um yeah they were saying oh okay so great you know okay so you're gonna be going home now you know <laughs> good evening everybody hello good evening good evening Ivan. yeah it was, so it was easy to handle yeah, it was no, but it was really funny because we funny. Never, repeat. <laughs> we never repeat the same patients, right? <laughs> and it was like, same doctor, mm. same patient, and it was like, wow, what's the odds of that? <laughs> so, nice. That was interesting. That was very, very interesting. <laughs> uh, okay. But you know, um, so yeah, it, it was, it was nice. It was, it was, it was good. That was good. It was a good. Great. Thing. At least you uh, could rest a little. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Um, you know, I still had to be very, you know, um, you know, make make sure that that um, you know all of the of the um, calls that came in that I was picking them up and everything, right? But it was, you know, it was a calmer day, so it was nice. Yeah. How was your day? Nice. It was nice because uh, we been working in two shifts. And my managers decided to make two group. And so I was working AM and my other uh, colleagues were working uh, PM. So at noon, I was free. <laughs> at, at what time? At noon. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What time do, was... do you start class? Hey, my my, Sorry, my shift. Sorry, <laughs> I start at 7 a.m. No, but it's okay. I, uh, I regularly start at 7 a.m. Because the in this in this uh, schedule, you know, the I I forgot the when the hours is one hour before I the oh I forget the the schedule name. Ay, se me olvida. Cuando tenemos este horario de verano, verano, ¿verdad? Oh, uh huh, yes, yes, it's yeah. because in October, yeah. I guess it will be. We will, uh, I will be. <laughs> Daylight saving. I forget. I don't know why I didn't remember that. Huh. El daylight saving. Uh -huh. Ah, okay, okay, nice. That's good. Okay. It was great. Yeah. Okay, good. All right. Hello, everybody. How are you guys? Good evening. Good evening, Marvin. How are you? I, uh, I have a few teachers. <gasps> I'm so sorry, Marvin. I'm sorry to hear that. 
Um, are you feeling okay? No, so teacher. Yeah, I, I can only imagine. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm very, very I wanna sorry. I wanna sleep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can I yeah, I can I can understand do you, that. Do you have medical leave, Marvin? Yeah, I oh. have uh pills uh, to to sleep. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you need to rest. Um, yeah. If you have the flu. The only thing you can do is rest. Yeah. Unfortunately. Y yeah. para nosotros los hombres es cuestión de vida o muerte. <laughs> en serio. <laughs> es comparado con un parto de las mujeres. Dice. Yeah, yeah. That's what I've heard. <laughs> yeah. Actually, you know what? Um, but you know it's actually i was reading I, I read this article i don't know how much of it is true um but but um apparently it's true men do have a lower threshold of of, of pain or and everything than women and so and I think that if I'm not mistaken, the article mentioned that it had to do with the testosterone level. So apparently it's true that men like what like men can handle like less pain. And so um, that's why it's equivalent, let's say not well, like no, I mean, that's kind of an exaggeration. Right. But but yes, uh, apparently men feel that, you know, when when they get really when they're um, when they have a flu or something like that, they really feel bad, like really, really bad. I, you know, I don't, one, like, I don't one, know. Uh -huh. 100% true. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening, President. Good evening. Yeah. So like I said, I don't know how much of it is true, but apparently, according to the article, it had to do with the hormone levels that um, affect. I, don't I know. believe it that. I believe it that. You believe that? Okay. Okay. I can't hear you. I don't understand, Luis. <laughs> Repeat, please. But I, I I understood that that you want the article because your your wife doesn't believe you. Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. I'll look for the article. Like I said, I don't know. I don't know how much of it is true. I really don't. But I, I, I'm going to find out. Um, well, I'm gonna. Uh, like I said, I don't know if it was written by a man or something. I, I don't know. It's true. It's true. I don't know. I, I guess so. Good evening, teacher. I, good evening, uh, Warner. Do you also agree that uh, that when? When uh, men have a flu, it's it's equivalent to uh, having a baby for a woman. Um, it's a teacher. Um, what's it, it? It is very close, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! Es muy cercano. I don't. Okay. Okay. Well. Ah, Luis, you have a lot of interference, and uh, you speak. Yes, it is raining a lot. Yeah. Oh, by the way, in my house, it's going to start raining. So, you know, if all of a sudden you guys can't hear me, uh, just let me know. But it's probably because of that, you know, because there's a lot of wind that's coming right now. So it sounds like it's close. Anyways, guys. Um, yeah. So so I'll do you that favor, boys, and see if I can find the article again. And I'll send it to you. <laughs> Okay, I just I found it it was interesting, so I I was like, hmm, I wonder if it's true. Okay, anyways, uh, let's take attendance. Ana Claudia, present teacher. Wonderful. Eh, Andres, present teacher. <clears throat> Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Fine, fine, same teacher. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Good, and in fact, you're my next my next on my list so edgar i guess is here right yeah okay, right fabiola fabiola no right okay fabiola is not here um 
Elsie, Janet. Elsie, Janet. No, okay. Uh, Heidi. Present teacher. Wonderful. Welcome, Heidi. Um, Irene. Irene. Okay, um, Ivan. Present teacher. Okay, wonderful. Welcome, Ivan. Johnny. Johnny. No. Okay. Uh, Josue. Present teacher. Welcome, Josue. Juan Francisco. Juan Francisco, no, I don't see him, okay. Uh, Jerry. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Thank Carla. You. Carla, no. Melissa. Melissa, hmm, okay. Um, Luis. Present teacher. All right. Manuel Alejandro. Present teacher. All right. Um, Manuel, I'm oh, sorry, no, Mar Marvin. Present teacher. All right. Uh, Wendy. Wendy, no. Werner. Present teacher. All right. And Yvonne. Yvonne, Yvonne, no, no Yvonne. Uh, Francisco? Present. All right, and Jenny? Jenny, Jenny? Present teacher. All right, wonderful, okay. Let me just um, mention again the names of the people that I didn't hear. I didn't hear Janet, Fabiola, Irene, Johnny, Juan Francisco, Carla, Melissa, eh, Wendy, and Yvonne. No one's, no, none of those people are here, right? Okay. All right. Wonderful. Okay. So let's, uh, let's start here. Okay. Uh, with our, oh, by the way, guys, thank you very much for, um, working and completing the platform for the first week. Um, I see that um, you guys got very good grades. Excellent. Um, seem, you know, seems like you guys are really getting a hang of it. So very good. Excellent. Thank you very much. Um, and, and speaking about, um, you know, working on things um, that you had to work on the weekend, I hope also everybody was able to finish off the other homework that I asked you guys to do because that's what we're going to be working on today. So let me share with you um, our PowerPoint and I'm hoping you guys can see it. Yeah, am I correct? Can you guys see it? Yes, teacher. Yes, yeah. teacher. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Okay, so this is beginner module six. Now we're gonna start units two, it's staff and schedules. That is the name of this new unit, unit two. And today is Monday, May 31st, 2021. It's day number six. And your facilitator is Jessica A. Guerrero, okay? All right, so let's begin first of all by looking at this, which was for homework. Just write a seven line paragraph about your work experience. Um, and personal information such as studies, experience and other jobs. Okay, so I asked you guys to do this for homework so that we could um, share. Okay, so you had to use time expressions. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to get into groups. Um, we're going to go to the breakout room and you're going to um, share your information. We're going to work in small groups. So let's, um, Warner, do you have two devices right now? Yes, teacher, two. 
Two, okay. Two. Yes. Good evening, teacher. I am here. Oh, good evening. How are you, Juan Francisco? Sorry, I be late. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for joining. Um, okay. Just a second, guys. Okay, we're going to have, um, actually, yeah, we're going to have uh, groups of three or, or some of them are going to have two as well. Okay, so there might be groups of two or better said pairs or groups of three, okay? And I want you to share your information with your group. I'm going to give you um, about... Uh, I would say about, I'll, I'll keep it at seven minutes. Seven, well, no, eight. I'll give you guys eight minutes. And if you guys finish early, um, I don't want you just to sit there and do nothing, you know, just like turn off your, your camera and just sit there doing nothing. And I don't want you to start speaking in Spanish either. The idea there here is to have as much practice as possible. So that's why I need you guys, if you finish, if you finish early, if you finish before the, um, the eight minutes, start talking to your classmates about other things, but in English, okay? All right, so let's open up the rooms. Here we go. Hello, Irene. Hello, Irene. Can you hear me? Irene, can you hear me now? Irene, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, wonderful. All right, I'm going to send you right now to a group. And okay. what you're going to be doing is sharing the information you did for homework. That paragraph, that seven line paragraph that I asked you to do, you're gonna share, okay? So I'm gonna send you right now to group number three. You can go ahead and join. Soon, well, application on government institutions. Okay. And government institution, government institution. From to, to 20, 2002, 2002 to, to 20 to 20, 20, 2005. 
Okay. In well, 2006, 2006, and I began uh, other I I I worked in a dog company that is a factory company. Okay. Since no university and uh, within in my experience um, 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 the world in uh, Costa Rica Costa Rica uh, one one years oh. um, and the other uh, experience is a uh, um the company uh production coffee and three years and the 1995 and 1995 to to 1998 only okay Edgar, I have a question for you. The the company production or the company produces? Uh, the, 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 the company is, is productions. R production or, Product. or produces? Mm, productions. Produces. Produces, Produce. sorry. Uh, produces. Sea, produce or producción? ¿Cuál de los dos? Uh, produce. Produces. Produces, ah, okay. Produces, okay. 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 Well, I'm a technician in logistical and custom. I have the opportunity to study in Ed Cafe Padre, uh, La Unión, uh, 90, uh, 90, night to night 11. Then uh, I was a full-time missionary uh, in Costa Rica two, two years uh, to 20 uh, to 11 to 2013. Mm, when I get back to El Salvador. I start to work in Cotecno del Salvador as a documental manager. Uh, my main duties were create a digital re register called data set, uh, co coordinated with um, employees, uh, the custom employees, everything re relative to inspection log intrusive. Then in uh, 2017, I have the opportunity to grow up in the company. And I was from teacher, how do you say uh, promovido? Uh, I was promoted to operation season and my mate, my Main duties are safety and maintenance of the scanner 8 CBM until now. Um, that is my labor experience. I work only in Cotecna del Salvador in Chalatanango. Uh, Jose, do me a favor. Re okay. Can you repeat the dates before 2000? Uh, 2000 or, or what? The, the dates that you mentioned before the year 2000. Oh, uh, no, no, no. I, I started in EDCA in 20 to 20, it, oh, 20, 29 to 2011, 2009. Okay, 2009 to 2000. 
Yeah. Or no, no, you name. I am first. first. La Deli, yeah. The ladies first. Oh. <laughs> yeah. What what gentlemen aren't they? Yeah. You need that general, general unit. We need that general. Oh my. Okay. All right. See you guys in the main room. Okay. 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 Thank you, sir. <laughs>
Um, well, I have a long story. I work in, in Banco de Comercio. I started here oh, there when I was 18 years old. Um, work there uh, from 1992 to 2001. And then I moved um, an electric company. Meanwhile, I was studying accountant in the Universidad Tecnológica. I finished the university in the 2014. And in 2002, I started to work in Scotland. In the last three years, I was working in Scotia Seguros. In the last three months, I've been working in another bank. This is a few uh, from my job history. Okay, very good. Thank you very much, Ivan. Excellent. Okay. By the way, uh, very, very nice bedroom. <laughs> I didn't practice the, how to pronounce the gears. Oh no, that's good. No, no, I mean the background. Your your background, very nice bedroom. <laughs> oh, thanks, my doctor. <laughs> oh yeah, really. <laughs> that's nice. Okay, all right, very good, excellent, guys. Okay, so um, do you guys have any questions? I know that before we were having a little bit of problems with the um, with the years, right? Um, how have how did you do this time with the years did you have any problems or is it okay is it better now i think it's better teacher okay good all right i just wanted to show you something i wanted to share something with you um and th hopefully this will help you a little bit better Okay, so um, I have a set of, a set of numbers here from all of from thirteen to nineteen, and we have the 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So sometimes we can confuse these ones, like the thirteen we confuse with thirty, fourteen with forty, fifteen with fifty, six with 60, 17 with 70, um, 80 with, sorry, 18 with 80, 19 with 90, right? So those are, they can easily be confused. So what we need to do is we need to make sure that we understand how to pronounce it. So in the case of the, the numbers that go from 13 to 19, right? All of these are teens, okay, teens. Um, in fact, in English, the word teen is a synonym for adolescence, adolescencia, okay? Because the, these are the ages when, 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 when human beings are, are teenage or, or, or adults, oh, sorry, uh, adolescents, the stage between childhood and adult. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, the thing is that when we want to pronounce these, what we do is we stress the ending. So we say 13, 14, 15. Notice it's 15, not 15. Okay, it's not 15, it's 15. So 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So we stress the ending, the teen, which is always teen, okay? Now with these ones, we don't stress the ending, we stress the beginning, okay? So we say 30, 
40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So the first syllable is stressed. Okay? Here it's the last one, and here it's the first one. Okay? So I'm going to say, I'm going to say the pair of numbers, and you repeat after me. 13, 30. 13, 13, 13, 30. Good. 14, 40. 14, 40. Good. 15, 50. 15, 50. Notice it's it's 15, 50. It's not five. 15. It's not 15 or 15. No, right? 15. 15. All right, good. Next. Uh, 16. 60. 1990. There you go. Okay, now I'm just going to say one of these two, one of the pairs, and you tell me, am I saying the first one or the second one? Okay, which column? So I, I to give an example, I might say uh, 30. If I say second. 30, first or second, second. column? Second. 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 Exactly, very good. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to just randomly, I'm gonna say, 15. One. First. First, 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 one. first one. First one. Very good. 60. Second. Second. The second, second one. Second. 90. Second. Second, second one. one. 17. First one. First one. First one. First one. First one. First one. 50. Second one. Second one. Second one. 18. First, First one. one. First one. 19. First one. First one. 40. Second one. Second one. Second one. 70. Second one. Second one. Good. All right. I think you guys got it. Okay. So just remember that. Just make sure that you're stressing the last part if it's between 13 and 19, and the other ones that go by tens, they stress the first part. Okay. So there you go. Okay. All right. Yes. Thank you. Miss. You're welcome. Okay. All right, guys, wonderful. So we are going to um, start with our unit two right now. Um, give me a second. Okay. All right, everybody can see it, right? Yeah? Okay. All right, so. We're going to talk here about the conversation. But before we talk about the conversation, let's discuss two questions. The first question is, what is a regular day at your workplace like? Okay, so think about in an everyday life, in a regular day, just, you know, any, like any Monday or any Wednesday of the, of the week. What happens at your workplace? What is a regular day at work? And how busy are you? Okay, so 
what is it like in your workplace for everybody, like your boss, your co-workers, yourself? And then how busy are you normally on a regular day? Not, I'm not talking about, um, you know, during the holidays or, or you know, like in the case of Ana Claudia and myself that, you know, today was not like a normal day, right? But I'm talking about a regular day, just any day of the week. How busy are you? Are you very busy? Or, or, you know, is it, you know, okay, or is it, or is it, you know, very slow, okay? So I'm gonna get you guys to work in pairs, discuss those questions. Um, so let's make up the breakout rooms. Give me one moment. Okay, five minutes to talk about it. Okay, you can go ahead and join the group. Uh, sorry, in progress. <laughs> okay. Uh, what is a regular day at your workplace? Like, Francisco? A uh, regular day? Uh, in some cases, uh, it's a regular day. But it's uh, a regular day, okay. Um, I'm get to the office, or is um, my worries on the, ¿cómo se dice en campo? Teacher? Sorry, what is? Cuando digamos que, okay. Um, El, el trabajo no es de oficina, sino a veces de campo fuera. Oh, field work. Excuse me? Field, field work. Field work. Field work. Okay, field work. Okay, in some cases, in the field work, um, well, uh, I need to conduce a, a long time to visit the, uh, sorry? Conduce or drive? Drive, drive. Right. <laughs> drive a long time to visit um, some clients and get information about the. Uh... Uh, another day is very. Um, calm. Okay, well, mm -hmm. uh, every day for me is so hard. Uh, I work from seven of morning mm -hmm. to seventy and a half in the night, and for me there are no differences between one day and another and um, with my workplace just only my boss and I is the team the team uh, uh, we have
have a lot to work and better reports to to send to our director. And the weekends, I wait for for a weekend like the rain for the flowers and every day i i have to run in for my home to connect in my english class this is my day it's very busy okay but then i still i am staying alive <laughs> Are you having problems with the the microphone? No, teacher. The microphone or my my camera? Your mic like a scratch. <laughs> uh, it's, it's like interference. Mm. No, no lo escucha usted. Yes. Yo sí, yo sí escucho como scratch. Uh, Quizás debe haber un, debe tener un falso del conector o no sé. Y ahora. Ahora ya no. Yeah, it's, uh -huh, I think it's better now. Yes. And what about your camera? Your camera's working? Okay, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> why why don't you like to turn on your camera? Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, just you know, show us your beautiful face so that we can we can feel that we're talking to you. <laughs> I okay. <laughs> okay. I'll see you in the breakout room. Okay. Or in the, sorry, in the main room. Okay. Okay. Okay, great. So guys, um, you had the opportunity there of talking to your classmates. Um, all right, who would like to share a little bit about their a regular normal day for them? Just one. <laughs> yes, exactly. Not everybody at the same time. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, teacher. Told... <laughs> All right. Um, okay. In my case, in this day, the Monday, uh, I have a uh, review the the email, review the equipment, don't lose uh, or lose the Feels conditional, uh, create or make a report to sanitizing, I think so. Uh, review the external audit. Uh, how do you say auditory external? External auditory. Okay, review the external auditory and uh, scanner uh ticket or uh, to add the caja chica how do you say caja chica teacher oh you say um in the context to find yeah uh, uh petty petty cash okay scan it to ticket to 
uh, to add uh, predicate. Oh, perdón, perdón, verdad, no me escuchó, verdad? I have the, did I have the, did I have my audio on or no? Yes, teacher, oh, okay. I heard you. Sorry, sorry. I thought uh, I didn't have it on. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, uh, this is in, 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 in activities in the Monday, the Monday. And, and they busy, maybe do uh, uh, maintenance to the equipment, create the report, send, create a normal report. Uh, but I really, my work is soft, I think so. So it's not a, you don't have very much of a busy day? Uh, really, uh, rara vez, rara vez, teacher? Rarely. Rarely. Okay, okay, all right. Good, excellent, thank you very much. All right, who wants, who else wants to share? Me, teacher. Okay. Well, uh, normally my day is, my my boss sent me a requirement about information that I need to take uh, and present and present a visual visual tool. Um, sometimes I my boss define the time that I that I need complete that activity that's tax. Um, sometimes a short time and sometimes uh, uh, it's low. I I don't have. Uh, uh, I, sometimes it's really, really hard. It's really busy time, but I, sometimes I have time even to study with my daughters because they they are working, they are study here online, and sometimes I need to help my two daughters. Uh, that is complicated when you are at the house and trying to work and try to help your family because when when you when you when you are on call, for example, your daughter, daddy, help me with that and something like that. And uh, the teacher sometimes ask some activity that I didn't read and the, uh, the, I didn't read uh, about what they need to do at the class. And uh, it's something really frustrating. It's, it's really complicated for, for a, a homework. Um, but I, in my my case is sometimes busy, but sometimes it's low. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Okay, guys. Very good. Anybody else want to share? Somebody else? No. Nadie más atreve. Okay. All right. Okay, no problem. All right, guys, so in that case, let's uh, move on. Now that we've talked a little about that, um, let's take a look at this conversation that uh, Will has with Orson, okay? Um, so um, I'm going to need two volunteers to be Will and Orson. Me. Me, teacher. Okay, I just don't. Uh, me. Hold on, just give me a second. I don't know who's me. <laughs> Ivan. Okay, okay, all right. So, Ivan, you want to be Will? And who else? Who else said me? Will. Wendy. Wendy, okay. Wendy, you can be Orson then. Okay, teacher. It looks great. I it does. Who is the charge of cleaning? Jessica is. She cleans the kitchen from Mondays to Wednesdays. She does a really good job. Indeed, but doesn't. Jessica takes order during the morning shift. No, she doesn't. George does. He takes order from, from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Oh. 
I get it. And who does after him? Does he brother takes the the orders after him? Yes, he does. Okay, thank you very much. Round of applause. Very good. Thank you. Okay. All right. So okay, so tell me a little bit about about this vocabulary here. Any words that you don't understand? Chief. Okay. Um, the pronunciation of indeed. Indeed, okay. Indeed. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna look at pronunciation in a moment. Okay. Um, Right now, we're going to just look at the vocabulary, so the meaning. Okay. So we have indeed, shift. What else? Anything else? Nothing more? No? Only those two words? Okay. All right. In that case, oh, there's no, that's it. Okay. All right. So in that case, the first word here is indeed. And this is a, is this a word that just confirms. It, 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 it confirms something. It's like just, it's similar to saying, yes okay so she says um she does a really good job and you say yes right so you are confirming you agree with what uh so will agrees with what orson says okay then we have the word shift sorry teacher before you go to the next word indeed can be used at the beginning of a sentence or at the end or always goes at the beginning uh, no actually if you notice it's not it's neither one it's actually a it's a sentence mm, okay okay if it, it, it's it's a, short, it's a short answer here so it's like it's, it's just like saying yes right okay. so um it's like saying it's true mm -hmm. Okay. okay, it's true. So indeed, it's just by itself. Okay, you don't put it at the beginning, you don't put it at the end. It's just a sentence by itself. Oh, okay, okay. Thank like you. When you, yeah, it's like saying it's true. Okay, thank okay. you. You're welcome. Okay, anything else? Okay, let's look at the, let's look at the word shift. The word shift means the the period of time that you have to work okay so in this case the morning shift that means the period in the morning that she is that jessica is working okay she could also have the afternoon shift right the afternoon shift means the period of time in the afternoon that she has to work okay so some people work morning shifts some people more pe some people work afternoon shifts some people work morning and afternoon and some people work night shifts and some people work graveyard shifts do you guys know graveyard shifts have you ever heard of that my job <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, exactly <laughs> graveyard shifts and a graveyard shift means um, that that period of time when people work through the night. Okay, so the, the people start working like maybe at I don't know nine at night and finish until six in the morning. To give you an example, that's a graveyard shift. Okay, that is the the most difficult time because you have to be awake during the time that you would normally be sleeping. That's a graveyard shift. 
okay? Like if you're a security guard, you will probably work graveyard, graveyard shifts, okay? Because security guards have to be, um, you know, taking care of protecting a place, even, especially, even and especially at night. Okay. All right. Anything else? No? Okay. So what we're going to do is the following. Instead of you telling me uh, how do you pronounce this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over all of the, the conversation and I need you guys to repeat after me. So we have, this kitchen looks great. This this kitchen, kitchen looks great. Great. It does. It does. It does. does. Who is in charge of cleaning it? Who is in it's charge of cleaning, cleaning. Of cleaning. Yeah. Yeah. Jessica is. Jessica, Jessica is. is. Guerrero. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe I work, I, I work three jobs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Um, she cleans the kitchen. She cleans, she cleans the, the kitchen. kitchen. From Mondays to Wednesdays. From Monday to Wednesdays. She does a really good job. She does, she does a really good, good job. job. Indeed. Indeed. But doesn't just take orders. But doesn't just take orders. orders. During the morning shift. During, During the morning, morning, shift. morning shift. No, she doesn't. No, no she, she doesn't. Does 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 George does. George, George does. does. George does. He takes orders. Okay. Okay. Orders. 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 From 10 a.m. From, from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. To 2 p.m. To 2 p.m. To 2 p.m. Remember, it's 2 2 p.m. So you have, you have to say two, two, the word two twice, right? To 2 p.m. To 2 p.m. To 2 p.m. Good. I get it. I get, I get it. it. I get it. And who does after him? And, and who, who does, does after, after him? him? After him. Does his brother take the orders? Does his brother take the orders? After him? After him? After him? After him? After him? After him? Yes, he does. Yes, yes he, he does. does. Oh. Okay, good. All right, so we understand the pronunciation for all of them? Yes? Indeed, yes. the stress goes in the second, uh, in the E, right, in, at, the, at the end, indeed. The okay. Indeed. Okay. Indeed. Second syllable. Indeed. Teacher. Yeah. What is the, what is difference in two, two? <laughs> when the pronunciation in the, in the pronunciation because I, I i see the the difference because i i write but in the speak mm -hmm. writing there's a difference in in pronunciation there isn't okay so in english uh this is what we call hom um homophones homophones are words that um that are spelt that are spelt differently, but they are said the same. So words like two, two, and two are all spelt all pronounced the same. Okay. Two, two, two. All right. So there is no difference in the pronunciation, but of course in the spelling and the meaning, yes. This is common in the cartoon. Listen, uh, when when I, uh, uh, someone asks something, and respond, "Me too, me three. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm. yeah, that's great. Yeah, it's just a play on words, exactly. Mm -hmm. So, two, two, two. So we would say two, two, which is two, two p.m. Okay. Okay. Is the sign a rule in Spanish? What 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 rule in Spanish? For example, casa, casa. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. okay, teacher. Now, now can you imagine if, if can you imagine if it said like if it said this? From ten to two 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 and two. <laughs> From ten to two two. <laughs> I was thinking in that. Two, two. two. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Okay, from 10 to two, two. Okay, so yes, they just, that's how it is. Okay, um, excellent. So just let's answer these, um, la these uh, little questions here. Uh, the questions are, who cleans the kitchen from Mondays to Wednesdays? Jessica. Jessica. Jessica does, yes. And what does George do? He takes order from 2 a.m. to 2 p.m. From 2 a.m.? 10 a.m. I have a question. Uh -huh. The answer for that is Jessica does it or Jessica does? Jessica does. So we don't need to eat. No, you don't need it. Ah, okay. Okay. Because who cleans? She does. Ah. Uh, okay. 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 So um, yeah. So George, what does he do? He takes the orders from ten to two. And last question: When does George's brother take orders? When did George's brother take orders? After him. After him. Uh huh. After him, right? Mm -hmm. And when is when is it after him? After two p.m. After, after two p.m. After two p.m. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. There you go. Okay, so I'm gonna stop presenting from right in this moment because I'm going to take attendance. Teacher, yeah. What say you that men ended? Sorry. Uh, what men ended? Indeed. Indeed. Indeed, it, it's like saying, um, it, of course, or um. Or is simply yes, or um, or I agree. Okay, so it's yeah, it's kind of something along those lines, right? Yes, I agree. It's true. In any context? Uh, no, in that context. Okay, but um, but most of the time it's going to be that yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Welcome. Okay, let's take attendance now. Once again, Ana Claudia. Present teacher. Okay, wonderful. Andres. Present teacher. Great. Um, Edgar. Edgar. Oh, he's, he's left the room. Okay. Uh, Janet. Janet, not here, no. Fabiola. Present teacher. Okay, wonderful. Katie. Present teacher. All right, Irene. Present. Okay, great. Ivan. Present teacher. Excellent. Johnny. No. Eh, Josué Alberto. 
Present teacher. Okay. Juan Francisco. Present teacher. All right. Uh, Jerry. Present teacher. Ray, Carla. Carla? No. Uh, Melissa. Melissa? No. Uh, Luis. Present teacher. Manuel. Manuel? No? Okay. All right. Marvin? Present teacher. Okay, great. Wendy? Present. Okay, thank you. Uh, Werner? Present teacher. Great. Uh, Yvonne? Present. Okay, excellent. Francisco? Present. All right, and Jenny? Present teacher. Okay, great, excellent. Okay, I think I got everybody. Okay, we're going to continue now um, in the conversation. In this conversation, you probably noticed that here we're talking about um, we're talking about things that people do in a routine um, every day and um, and something that they will obviously continue doing right so she uh, for example in case of Jessica she continues cleaning the kitchen she does that every day um, but she doesn't take orders in the case of George he takes orders um, from 10 to 2 p.m and his brother takes the orders after 2 p.m right okay so those are some of the things that we talked about in the conversation so let's talk a little bit about the grammar that we have here the grammar that we have here is the simple present okay so let's read a little bit about the simple present. Um, oh, give me a Give me a moment. Something went wrong here. Just a second, guys. Okay. Um, let me try this again. Okay. So, this, uh, we're, so we're going to be analyzing here about the simple present for scheduled activities. Do we understand the word scheduled activities? Any idea what a scheduled activity is? Como un horario de actividades. Yeah. Um, yeah. Basically, a scheduled activity is an activity that you have programmed. That's what it means. It's a programmed activity. So in the case, for example, Matt serves at 2 p.m. That's something programmed for, for, for Matt. Okay. Paul gets to work at 1 p.m. 
also there's a this is a program it's program paul paul doesn't get to work at any time he wants right it's not he doesn't start working at any moment he gets to work at 1 p.m because that's when he's supposed to get to work that's when it's programmed okay the other one andre cleans the tables from 5 p.m to 9 p.m so andrea maybe she starts work i don't know maybe at 3 p.m but from 5 to 9 she cleans the tables it's it's a program that she has that she has that's a schedule and maria cooks from 7 a.m to 1 30 p.m maybe after 1 30 p.m she cleans the kitchen right okay but the the program says that from 7 to 1 30 she is cooking okay so these are all scheduled activities do we understand what it means to have a scheduled activity yes yes teacher Yeah, so it's all clear, right? We're talking about scheduled activities. So like I said, in the, in the case here, what is the scheduled activity in the first one? Uh, clean the table. First right. Uh, no, the first one, the first one. Matt serves yeah. at 2 p.m. Okay, so serving, right? That's Serves. Service. Um, yeah. Serves, okay, good. All right. What's the scheduled activity here? Get, get to work. Gets get to, to work. work. Exactly. That's the scheduled activity. Over here, what's the scheduled activity? Cleans the table. table. Cleans the tables. And over here, what's the scheduled activity? Cooks. 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 Very good. Okay. Excellent. Now, because we are talking about third person singular, all of these people are he or she, then in that case, um, we are going to be using the simple present. And that means that we're going to be having to add S, right? Like in the case of serves or gets or cleans or cooks. Okay, we have to add an S. Now, I have a question for you. When do you add the, when do you add I-E-S? Present continue? No. Present progressive? When it's a third person? Yes. Would you say I-N-G or I-E-S? I-E-S. So ah, when sorry. the third person sorry. in the present in the simple present. Right. Okay. So when do we have the verb plus IES? In one moment. When the letter uh, finishes with the Y. Good. Okay. When the verb finishes in Y. Very good. But there's one more a rule other than just putting the Y. There's one more rule. What is it? Okay, I'll get, uh, uh, I'm going to show you what I mean. In the case of play, for example, play finishes in Y. So do you do this? Play. Is that correct? No. Oh, no. Because no. before, mm -hmm. sorry, because the why is the power. Okay, oh, good. Okay. Oh, the verb is regular or irregular. Uh, when they end in consonant? No, no, but it's the same like play, right? Okay, it has to do with what Jenny mentioned. Jenny, could you repeat what you mentioned? When the the la no sé before the last letter 
before that Y uh, is vowel. Okay, so in the case of this, where you finish in a Y, but, the, but there is a vowel before the Y, it's not applicable. Okay, you do not apply this rule. You only apply it when there is a consonant and Y. To give an example, carry, fly. Okay, or carry, yes, or apply. Actually, let's say with the Y. Um, let me think of another one. Um, study, copy, study. Study, very good, okay. So do you notice in all of these we have consonant Y, consonant Y, consonant Y. In that case, what we do is we eliminate the Y. We eliminate the Y and then we're gonna be adding the IES. Like this. Flies. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Or for example, in the case of carry, you're gonna put carries, I-E-S. Or in the case of study, I'm going to put I yes. Okay, got it. But this is only the third person singular. This does not apply with I, you, he. Sorry, I, you, we, and they. It's only for he, she, and it. Only. Got it. Yes, teacher. Okay. Teacher, Micro your microphone. It's mute. Oh, sorry. Sorry about that. Thank you. All right. So the other one is when we add ES. We have the verb plus ES. When do we add the verb plus ES? I remember verbs that end in, uh, for example, O, because I remember go. Okay, right, okay, so. But there are, there are, I guess there is a list, I don't remember, the most I remember is the one ending in O. Right, okay, I'm going to, I'm not gonna give you all of them, uh, uh, better said, I'm not going to write, uh, um, the verbs with ES, but basically, if the verb finishes in O, sorry, in O, CH, SH, well, I think I think I might have a chance to write it. Let me just, let's see if we can. To give an example, verbs like uh, like the verb um, like do or um, watch or brush. Okay. 
In that case, uh, we're going to put ES at the end. So we say, for example, does. This is watches. And this is brushes. Okay. Also, this rule applies with verbs that finish in, in a double S, an X, and a Z. Actually, double Z. Verbs such as, um, for example, kiss, um, fix, and buzz. Would you remind me, please, what's the meaning of buzz? Buzz, buzz, buzz. buzz is the sound, the sound that something makes when it goes bzzz. Ah, okay. that's a sound. Buzz. Right? So, okay. For example, uh, a bee, a bee buzzes, uh, a mosquito can buzz, uh, a door, a doorbell can buzz as well. Okay, a doorbell. Okay. You can you like go in some some doorbells go ding dong, but other ones go bzzz, right? So that sound, okay. Um, okay, thank you. All right, so yes, kisses. Fixes, buzzes. Okay, all right, so there you go. But of course, again, this is only with verbs uh, for the third person singular. Okay, so far so good, guys? Yeah? Yes, teacher. Okay. All right, so let's put this, the, these instructions into practice. Use the verbs form from the box to, um, to write sentences about you and people at your workplace, okay? So here we have, a, verbs like work, open, arrive, close, and go. Okay, so I want you to make sentences about what people in your workplace do as a, as a scheduled activity, okay, using these verbs, all right? So you can do this individually right now. Uh, I'll give you, you know, I think about five minutes should be a fair amount of time.
How are you guys doing? Are we almost finished or do you need more time? More time, please. Okay. How much more? One hour. An hour? <laughs> it's a joke. Okay. Well, um, I won't be here in an, in an hour. <laughs> I'll be sleeping. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Okay, are we ready? Yes, teacher. Yeah? Okay, all right, let's get, um, let's get into uh, small groups and share. Um, Werner. Werner Miss Fuji. Is And the second, I I write the bank opens at nine o'clock. And then in the other sentence, I write my boss arrives early in the morning to the office. And the next, the branch closes at 5 p.m. And the last one, they go home at 7 p.m. Okay. In my case, 
the first um, arrive my words at a am the second the company opens at 6 a.m the tears my boss arrived at the company very early for uh, security security closed the company at 9 p.m the pie uh, not yet only that okay okay um number one uh, 5 30 p.m <laughs> the teacher is coming. Uh, next, uh, <laughs> the receptionist opens the showroom at 8 a.m. Um, the general manager arrives before 8 a.m. And my boss closes his office when he goes to take lunch. And the last one, the shipment goes to Dominican Republic. Okay. What happens when about the lunch? Could you repeat that, Trace? My boss closes his office when he goes to take lunch. When he go to take lunch. When he go. Uh huh. Go. Mm -hmm. Because go, go to finish. take lunch. Go, it finishes in an O. Guys. Third person singular. So what is um, the third person singular with go? Goes. Goes, but but goes. But I have I can use two uh, uh, verbs in tercer person form in the same sentence. My boss. Closes the closest the office, did you say? Enough shit. Uh-huh. Yeah, when his he office goes. when he goes to yeah. uh, okay. Mm -hmm. I didn't know. Yeah. Okay, thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay. I I will be the last. Okay. I start to work at 8 a.m. every day. Did you? My goodness. Oh, Four with values, man. <laughs> Very lucky, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. We are surprised, teacher, that her uh, job, her enterprise gives to her four weeks of vacation every year, right, Heidi? <gasps> My goodness. Thanks. Yes. We cannot hear you, teacher. Your microphone. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, uh, four weeks in total or four weeks together? Together, if I want to. Mm -hmm. You can visit another country if you want. Yeah, uh, last last year I did, but this year no, my husband came. Came uh, back home. Mm -hmm. Yes, I saw, some I saw some pictures you and uh, your husband in the Eiffel Tower, right? Eiffel. Yeah. Eiffel, uh, Eiffel Tower. Oh yeah. my goodness. Wow. Wow. Location. Only, you can wake up at 10 a.m. if you want. Only the state. <laughs> Warner. Yes, Warner. You? Uh, you are you are you look like a bat. You're hanging. <laughs> yes, <you can. laughs> is my 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 cell phone is church. <laughs> Charging. Oh, Charging. Charging. Sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> he was. It, it's very problem for for cable. It, it's uh, only one position. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. So in the meantime, you'll be a bat. Okay, you're Batman. <laughs> okay. All right. Sounds good. <laughs> okay. Are right, you guys are finished? 
Yes, yeah. teacher. Perfect. Okay. See you in the in the main room. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I hope everybody had the opportunity of sharing with your classmates. Uh, we are now going to move on to the next part. Um, actually, well, yeah, uh, let's go on to the last part. Okay, so now it's our turn to put into practice what we've learned today. Work in pairs in your assigned breakout room. Tell your partner what is a regular day like in your workplace. Regular day, okay? Use simple present to tell the activities you and your colleagues do, okay? Um, so talk about yourself, talk about your colleagues, talk about your boss if you want, and then get a present a conversation to the class. Okay, so this time you're going to be working in pairs. Okay, and you don't, you're not limited to these. I, sorry, um, I know that we, I asked you guys to work on these verbs like work, open, arrive, close, and go, but you're not limited to these. Um, you can use any verb as long as. The verb is used in the simple present. So what we talked about before, right? Using S or IES or ES if the verb is for in the third person singular, okay? And then for yourself, you're just going to be using the verb in with no change, the verb in the base form, okay? So I'm gonna give you about um, well, 10 minutes probably less, I'll give you about eight minutes, I think, um, to talk to your, your partner, your classmates about, about uh, what happens at your workplace and use the simple present. Are the instructions clear? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Any questions? Um. No, it's all clear? Yes, teacher. Okay, wonderful. Okay. Um, okay, so everybody will have a partner. Um, there will be one group of three, but everybody else will should have a partner. Okay, so let's open all the rooms. Like I said, you have about eight minutes. Edgar, are you there? Okay. Five or or six middle uh, mi, uh, yes five or six uh, uh, meetings and i go to the plants my day is uh, separated in into times 
in the middle is in the plants, and in the middle is in the office. But in the office, in the office time is a uh, regular. Uh, I have a. Uh, more more meetings in when when other countries for example in mexico haiti and my partner in honduras and this is my regular day and i when i see the time i don't i don't remember when i what time is i my, my time is, is very fast because I I am a very fast. Okay. Uh, Wendy, uh, you are very what? Very busy. Busy. Ah, sorry, busy. Very busy. Okay, good. Did you say IT? Say IT? Yes, IT. IT. I, IT. The, the country. Yes. Okay. In English, IT, that is in Spanish, o sea, la, in, in, in el país, IT, in English, se pronuncia Haiti. Yeah. Haiti. Haiti. Why teacher teacher why the then then I remember that in my in one time eh, alguien me dijo que no se traducían los nombres propios en inglés no aplica para los países No each country is is you say it differently like um uh, I'll give you an example. United States of America. Mm -hmm. That's the name. The name of the country is United States of America. say Estados Unidos de America. Kind of change. But no, pero no todos, teacher. For example, Colombia. Colombia, Colombia. But the pronunciation changes a little bit. Colombia, Colombia. Mm, okay. Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico. Mm, right? Okay. So yeah, it's going to, it's going to even El Salvador, El Salvador. Okay. La pronunciación dependiendo del idioma va a cambiar. Okay. Okay. So in English we say Haiti. 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 That's how como, you como, como Haiti. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. Oh, it's new for me. There you go. You learn something. Teacher in Francesc, como se dice, porque ellos hablan francés. French. Uh -huh. French. I don't know. Yes, eh, eh, pero Haiti, ¿cómo se dirá? No sabe usted. Oh, how do you say Haiti in French? Yes. Um, okay. Okay, thanks, teacher. Yes. Well, is it is this is my my normal day. Okay. Okay, but, and, but uh, we need to practice. <laughs> yes, uh, I practice uh, uh, every day. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Okay. Um. The other examples, the uh, uh, teacher, uh, this is um, for my pro pro is problem con three persons. 
I know the picture or a screenshot of the, the instruction. The rule. Yeah. About the rule, the when you use a I E S when you use E S and oh, yes. Mm -hmm. The problem is Werner that that was like a like a whiteboard. So when I stopped sharing all of that Yes, teacher. Sorry. Sorry, I, I but I take the picture. Oh. I, I I send the, okay. the group. Great. Wonderful. Thank you very much, Jenny. Yeah. Thank es you. Ah, uh, como es eso era algo como un whiteboard que utilizo de, de, de Zoom, ¿verdad? Entonces, yes, yes, teacher. No, it, no problem. When I, when I stop sharing, it erases everything. Yeah. A mí, no, se me olvidó. ¿Cómo se dice? Se me olvidó, teacher. I, I forgot. I got the screenshot. I forgot. Yeah. Forgot. Uh, okay. You guys finished? Sure. So, did you... <laughs> so, so. I, 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 I talk about the, the work experience and of the family, but in English. <laughs> yes, teacher. Yes, yes, very good. That's the yeah. idea. Yes. Um, and the uh, receptionist and the um, a pricing department, financial department, and, and he, uh, they have uh, uh, the first floor floor for 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 them. Okay, is the um, building big? Big building. Uh, the off the office is a uh, little. The yeah. production plant is is is, is most uh, around. Uh, I don't know, maybe 100 uh, meters for one and a yeah, 100 meters, maybe something like that. Big man. Okay. And yes, uh, yes. And, and, and big, my workplace, uh, and the shift the morning, the shift uh, 6 a.m. to 2 p.m., uh, maybe are Las caritas de ustedes. Me da risa, ¿verdad? Que cada vez tienen que escuchar risa. ¿Cómo es? ¿Qué va a decir? Recording in progress. Recording in progress. <laughs> ahí viene la teacher, ahí viene la teacher. En be, español. Be quiet. Be, be quiet. Ahí todos hablando en inglés después. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Teacher, todo oh, en español. Ya nos que... exhibiste. Ya <laughs> abierto mi a micrófono. <laughs> Okay. All right, guys. So um, the instruction said, share with the class, right? Share the conversation with the class. But uh, we're going to leave that part for tomorrow. Okay. So you're going to be sharing. Remember who you work with. Actually, you know what? I'm going to, no, I'm going to take a, I'm, I'm going to take a picture instead of, of uh, the breakout room. That way I know. Okay. All right. Um, so we're going to share that uh, tomorrow. We're going to share our conversation with the class tomorrow. So right now, all I'm going to do is take attendance for the last time in today's class. 
Um, okay, so I'll start with Ana Claudia. Present teacher. Wonderful. Andres. Present teacher. Ray Edgar. Present teacher. Ray. Uh, Janet. No. Fabiola. Present. Wonderful. Uh, Heidi. Present teacher. Good, thank you. Um, Irene. Present. Wonderful. Ivan. Present teacher. Great. Johnny. Uh, Josue. Present teacher. Juan Francisco. Present teacher. All right. Jerry. Present teacher. Carla. Melissa. Luis. Present teacher. Manuel. Manuel. Uh, Marvin. Present teacher. Okay. Wendy. Wendy. Present teacher. Sorry. All right. No problem. Werner. Present teacher. All right. Uh, Yvonne. Present. Okay. Uh, Francisco. Present. And Jenny. Present teacher. Wonderful. Okay, guys. So that is going to be all for today. Uh, don't forget to start um, doing your um, your homework from the platform. Also, I will. Um, I'm going to be posting um, some conversation threads, uh, so you can start working on that as well. Um, and so that we don't, um, you know, do everything at last minute. Okay, so you can start working on that. And today I have uh, Yvonne on my list. Yvonne, would you like? Are you going to be staying for the tutoring class? Um, yes, teacher. Okay. Okay. Wonderful. All right. So that will be all for you guys. Um, take care, and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Thank Take you, care teacher. Too. Bye. Good night. Bye. 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 How can I help you? Uh, teacher, can you uh, help me with the, um, how I can say the hours in English? The hours? Yes, I have problems today. Uh, for example, in the, in the sentence I work for, for me, the, the way to, to say the hour is six, 50, but I don't know, is that correct? Ah, okay. The time. You want, yes. you want to know the time. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, I'll, I'm going to use my whiteboard to help you with this one. Okay, you can see the whiteboard, right? Yes. Okay, so the time. Okay, um, roughly, because this is a little, this is a, a complex, let's say, um, topic, but in general, okay, so we have here the time, um, um, I'm going to just write It's going to write it like this because Oh 
Here we go. So here's a clock. Okay. Um, So basically what happens is the following. Everything that is here, everything on this side, um, But, but um, I'll just draw a line. So basically everything on this side, okay, everything that has to do on this side. Um, so from here, from here to here, We say the word, basically the, the structure is hour. Oh, sorry, no, sorry, sorry, let me see. Um, minutes. After or past the hour. Okay. So we say to give you an example, let's say that um, imagine that uh, the time was. Okay, um, imagine the time was like that, okay? Imagine this was the time. What we would have to do is we'd say the time would be it's Minutes, so mm -hmm. in this case, 10 minutes, right? Mm -hmm. So it's 10. Okay. It's past. 10. Uh -huh. We can say, we can either say past or after. We decide whatever you prefer. If you want to use past, we can say past. Okay. So it's 10 past, and then we say that the hour. Four. And then case okay. four, 10 past four. Okay? Okay. Or, like I said, we can also use it's 10 after four. Okay? So that this is the structure here that we use. And I can say the a.m. or p.m. after that. For example, uh, is then past 4 a.m. No, 
No, what would what would you would have to do is you would say it's ten after four in the afternoon. Ah, uh, okay. Or uh, in the morning, and if you say if it's in the morning, it's like la madrugada, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then what happens is that everything that um, goes from here. Oops. Everything that goes from here to here the structure that we use is again minutes to and then the hour. Okay, that's how we, what we do. Minutes to the hour. So if, for example, this, the time, let's say, was um, 5 to 7 in in the night at night uh huh it's 5 to 7 at night right at night not in the night at, at night. night right or in the morning it's 5 to ah, 7 okay. in the morning okay okay you got it any questions no teacher uh, can i take a screenshot of course Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay. Well, that's it then. Okay. Okay, Suleyma, um, thank you for um, asking. It's very important for me to uh, know if you're having problems with something so I can help you. Okay. 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 Thank you, teacher. Uh, um, good night. Good night. And I will see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. All right. Thank you. Bye. Bye. See you.